All right, what's guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to be taking a look at how to catch Larvitar slash where to catch it slash how long it's going to take. So Larvitar in the Pokedex is you can see here in the Kanto region at Savalt Canyon at level 50 or 52, it is marked as rare. And essentially you're, what you want to do is be in the Kanto region, obviously. Uh, and we're going to fly over to Seven Island here on the Sevi Islands. So if you don't know how to get there, your, your map is probably looking like this. In the Kanto region, just click this uh, button right here, click it again, click it again, and then boom, you'll be looking at six and seven island. You're gonna wanna fly all the way over to seven island. This is of course, once you have access to it, cause you have to you know, beat some sort of storyline. Uh, go on down from the Poke Center. Uh, there's gonna be some trainers here that you're gonna have to fight. Uh, let's hope I don't get into an encounter. And then let's go down and we're almost there. Hopefully we can avoid, nope, we can't. Uh, we're gonna have to hit, um, oh, some Fampies actually. Pretty cool. Fampy's actually a cool shiny, so I'm okay running into those. But again, we're uh, we're trying to run into some Larvitars here, right? And so uh, I've got my Mancino out here. The main reason for that is because I would like to see a female Larvitar if possible. Larvitar, from what I remember, isn't super rare. Yeah, between male and female, they're not. There's not a huge difference. But I mean, I think for like breeding purposes, if you wanted to breed a Larvitar, uh, that's going to be your best bet. But Basically, once we get to about here, you can see like on the top left of my screen, hopefully it's it's a little hard to see, but it says Savalt Canyon, like right here it says Canyon Entrance. Basically, you're just gonna go over here, Savalt Canyon right here. And then anywhere in this grass is where you can start, you know, going back and forth, this grass as well. We're gonna see how long it takes to uh, uh, to get in um, a thing. So we're starting at uh, 912, okay, so this Geodude is gonna be 913. So we're gonna see from 912 how many Larvitar it's gonna take or how many encounters it's gonna to take to run into a Larvitar. Uh, Larvitar is a pretty good Pokemon, I think. Sorry if you could hear the, the plane in the background or whatever, I'm trying to cut that out as much as possible. Uh, personally, this isn't the best spot, I think. I'm actually gonna go back down to the other piece of grass and we're gonna see how, uh, how that's gonna take. Uh, but I think that Larvitar, honestly, like as a rare Pokemon, or excuse me, as a rare spawn, it's probably going to be a little more difficult to get than you might imagine. Um, I think Cubone's in here, uh, Skarmory's in here, some of the some of the ground and steel types are in here. Uh, I, I want to see basically how difficult it is to, to catch a Larvitar and things like that. Obviously, at its base price, you guys saw it was about 5k, which is not great. Um, I mean, obviously, if you get like a really good Tyranitar or whatever, you know, try to rock with it. I, Tyranitar is one of my personal favorite Pokemon. But we're going to see basically how long it takes. Keep in mind that these Pokemon that you're encountering are going to be at level like 50, 52-ish. So, you know, bring a Pokemon that's at least level 100. My catching party right now uh, does consist of two Brelooms. I always bring two just in case like one dies somehow uh, or if, if I, I don't know, some, something happens. I also got my Minchino with Cute Charm. This is to attract more females. Uh, for starters and stuff like that, it'll matter more. But for a Pokemon like Larvitar, it won't matter too, too much. But sometimes, like like an Eevee, for instance, that's a really good um, a, a good Pokemon to have a Cute Charm for. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot Persians in this grass too. But as you can tell, we're we're currently at uh, 924 encounters already, including like one or two hordes. So. You know, it's it's been a while already. Uh, we're not okay. There you go. There's a there's a Larvitar. Let's see if it's female. It is. There you go. Uh, that's also kind of the benefit of the cute charm uh, is that you get a higher chance of seeing a female if you have a male cute charmer. So let's bring out the Breloom. I think he's probably going to use like Sandstorm or something. Oh, Hyper Beam. I didn't see that coming. Uh, Larvitar can pack a decent punch if your Pokemon's not like way higher level. Uh, these Pokemon, I don't think it'll die to a false swipe or like get down to one HP. Yeah, it's it's got um, rock. It's like a rock type. So basically it won't, um, how do you say it? Like it, it won't deal too much damage to itself. Uh, you got to be careful with Thrash because it can confuse itself afterwards. So make sure to spore it and whatever. I'm actually going to go ahead and check Larvitar's move set to see if it has any self-killing moves. Thrash will leave it confused, so you want to be careful of that. Could kill itself in that aspect. Uh, but I don't see anything else that's really... Yeah, Larvitar doesn't really do much else. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it an Ultra Ball. I just click Great for some reason. I That was that was dumb. <laughs> but let's see if a Great works. Honestly, it might. Okay, there you go. A Great works. And we're going to check its IVs and basically just check uh, how useful it is, I guess. Um, so Larvitar's IVs down here. 
Let's see, we got a hasty nature, which is not bad, uh, but then no real good IVs, I guess. Uh, so that's that's Larvitar. I mean, if you wanted to catch your own, you know, be, be, be my guest, I guess. You know, there's no real uh, downside to it. Uh, let me know what you guys think about the video. Is there something else you want to see me, you know, talk about or, or anything like that? Uh, any other Pokemon? Any other Pokemon that you want to see me uh, do a guide for on how to catch or where to catch? Anything like that? Let me know in the comment section down below. I'm definitely down to do it. Uh, because these kind of videos are fun, they're very short, they're very informative, and it pretty much just gets the job done for uh, you know what you're looking for most likely. So hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Peace out.